Hey guys, it's uh, kind of snowy out, so I am uh, socked in here, and uh, I've got a kind of growing pile of bits and pieces and stuff, mostly I've taken from from my house, which I'm, of course, trying to clean out and sell. Uh, so let's, let's get on with that. I think I might shoot a couple of videos today, because, like I said, I'm pretty socked in here with the snow. Anyway, a book! Now that's interesting, isn't it? Does anyone recognize that name? R. Pease. Well, that's probably Bob Pease. And hopefully, maybe some of you uh, EE guru type guys from way back can maybe give me some insight on this. Because I suspect this is one of Bob Pease's old, old data books. Perhaps when he was uh, very early in his career. Now, the data book itself, as you can see, is kind of your standard Motorola data book. Uh, when is this one from? Oh, here comes the cat. 1969, uh, the fourth edition, 1969. And there's nothing really special about the data book. Many of us have this. And uh, that's a good data book. And I, I should uh, give you some background here. I found this uh, at the MIT flea market a few years ago. And uh, a guy had a, just a bunch of data books. And I always look through data books because I like to collect the old ones. The, uh, specifically, my, my rule has been anything from 1979 or earlier. However, I think I'm going to expand that uh, simply because, uh, honestly, a lot of the online... Uh, the online resources for, for old data books, they kind of, they stink. Uh, it's nice to see BitSavers is, is um, fattening up on good scans of data books that don't throw a bunch of ads and crap at you. Anyway, I bought this because it says RPs on it. Is this Bob's old data book? Now, I'm sure he had hundreds and hundreds of data books from back in the day. The thing that might might uh, um, confirm or deny this. Is that his signature? Uh, I see a lot of times online he kind of signed things R-A-P. This one says R-P's. Uh, however, if you look at the actual lettering, the, they are very similar. The, that, that loop and the P and such like that. So the question is, if any of you uh, EE gurus that maybe even knew Bob P's, do you think that's his signature? Kind of neat if it is. Now, uh, Bob Pease, of course, was a was a god amongst analog designers, wrong, along with Whittler and, and uh, Williams. And uh, he did indeed uh, go to MIT. He was born in Connecticut, I believe. Uh, MIT, and then spent some time at Philbrick uh, before going to National Semiconductor, where arguably... He got the most fame working at uh, National Semiconductor, where he, he uh, well, <laughs> invented a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that uh, shaped, uh, shaped the industry. Um, so, yeah, he was a very important guy. And, uh, of course, I knew about him, uh, you know, from reading his columns. Uh, and the name of this video is kind of an homage to, to his columns. Um, so yeah, you know, I figured this data book is, is special. I already have um, this particular edition. In fact, I think I have all the editions of this particular data book in my collection. But this one is special. So, can anyone confirm or deny that this may actually be his data book? I think that's the only thing that's written in here. Um, you know, the data book's in pretty good shape, but it's you know, obviously been used a little bit. Uh, so, can anyone uh, give any insight on this? Well, there you have it. This one's a keeper, I think. Like I said, even though I've got uh, several versions of this edition, in fact, this exact edition, this one's going to be a little special. It goes on a uh, special place on the shelf. All right, then. Like I said, short video. Probably bang out a couple today because of all the white stuff that's out there. So, uh... If you like it leave a like maybe subscribe maybe watch a bunch of the old videos maybe if you're socked in in the snow just go and look at my old videos on all sorts of 
vintage technology, computers and tubes and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, there'll probably be a tube video or two. Um, just a little teaser. This thing. Here, you know what? Let's move you out of the way. I have to do a little more research on this. Maybe some of you guys know what that is. Leave a guess if you know what that is. Yes, it's a Tektronik tube. You can see the logo there. But it's a weird one. All right. Got to do some more data, uh, more uh, research on it. And uh, that video will be coming up eventually. Okay. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.